has less SRP than silver. So, if a copper electrode is combined with a silver electrode to form the cell, the cell operates. I will repeat the question. Option A, copper is oxidized. Option B, silver is oxidized. Option C, silver gains electrons. Option D, silver loses electrons. E question nalli, copper ge less SRP rodrinda, copper acts as the anode. Anode at which oxidation takes place. So that copper is oxidized. But illi one the ambiguity answer is silver gains electrons anode ad mele silver ro cathode ag beko. Silver ro gains electron ad rang agathe because in the solutions silver ions gains electrons. But in our option they have given silver gains electrons therefore it is wrong. Copper is oxidized is correct. Next question no, the reduction potentials of three elements A, B and C are minus 2.37 volts, minus 0 0.76 volts and 0 volts respectively. Then from the aqueous solution, the given options are C displaces hydrogen, B, C bases than A and B. A displaces B but not C, A displaces B and C. In this problem, A has less SRP than B and C. As I told you, less SRP element is more reactive. Therefore, A is more reactive than B and C. So that A displaces B and C. Therefore, option D. A displaces B and C is correct option. Iga, inna vandu galvanic cell ge samad patan ta vandu important question ida. Which of the following statements is true for a voltaic or galvanic cell? Option A, the electron flow is from the anode to the cathode through the external circuit. Option B, an electron flow is from positive electrode to the negative electrode. Option C, the electron flow is from negative electrode to the positive anode through the salt bridge. The electron flow is through the salt bridge. So, in the theory class, I mean uh, theoretical explanation I have given that electrons are moving from anode to cathode through the external circuit. In galvanic cell, anode acts as the negative electrode, cathode acts as the positive electrode. Therefore, electrons are moving from negative anode to positive cathode. Therefore, in which option it is given? Electron flow is from anode to the cathode through the external circuit is correct option. Option A is correct. So, this board mail bardirta kanta on the important question ge. How to get the answers of the method kalt kundre? Ali alwaru ritiya on the now answer bere question bere ritiya question na answer mana dikhe anko lagate. E question ali what is the cell reaction for the following voltaic cell? Anado nama question no. They have given voltaic cell. Voltaic cell yaud kotti dare aluminium electrode is the anode because they have given in the left side. Bromine electrode is the cathode because they have given in the right side. Left side electrode is always anode, right side electrode is always cathode. Anode at which oxidation takes place. Therefore, you have to write the anodic of cell reaction separately. Anodic of cell reaction is AL undergoes oxidation to form Al3 plus by losing 3 moles of electrons. This is the anodic opsal reaction. Again then you have to write the cathodic opsal reaction. 
In the cathodic oxyl reaction, Br2 plus 2 moles of electrons we have to add to form 2Br minus. Now, to get the net cell reaction, we have to add these two equations. Before adding these two equations, we have to cancel the number of electrons in both the sides. But number of electrons are not equal. Therefore, by multiplying with the suitable integers, we can make these two number of moles of electrons to be equal. Therefore, multiply this equation by this number and multiply this equation by this number so that 3 to the 6, 3 to the 6, 6 electron, 6 electron get cancelled so that we can write it as 2AL plus 3Br2, 3Br2 giving rise to 2AL3 plus plus 6Br minus. This is the net cell reaction. So, we can get the value of n also. n is equal to 6. After getting this equation, let us search the options. 2Al, 2Al, 3Br2, 3Br2, 2Al3 plus, 2Al3 plus, 6Br minus. Therefore, option A is correct. question in a table of standard reduction potentials the strongest reducing agents are dash species in the off reactions with the dash e naught values option a reduced most negative option b oxidized most positive option c reduced most positive Option D, oxidized most negative. In this question, you know very well that reducing agents undergoes oxidation. Therefore, reducing agents are oxidized. And lesser E naught value is the good reducing agent. Therefore, less E naught most negative option. That means oxidized and most negative is the option. So now, in this concept, let us take one more important question. For a certain oxidation reduction reaction, E cell is positive. This means that option A delta G naught is negative, K is greater than 1. Option B, delta G naught is positive and K is less than 1. Option C, delta G naught is positive and K is greater than 1. Option D, delta G naught is negative and K is less than 1. To understand this concept, we have to take some important relations from electrochemistry. Relation between delta G naught and E naught of cell. Let us take the relation between the delta G naught and E naught of cell. Delta G naught is equal to minus N F E naught of cell. To get delta G naught is negative, E naught of cell should be positive. So that E naught of cell should be positive. This should be positive. Again, one more relation I have to take to get the answer. Delta G naught is equal to 2.303 R T log of 1 divided by equilibrium constant K or minus 2.303 R T log K you can take. But to get the answer properly, according to this relation, higher the value of Ka, lesser the delta G naught value. So that to get delta G naught is less than 0, K value should be greater than 1. If it is 1, log 1 becomes 0. So that K value should be greater than 1. Therefore, option 
ಏನಲ್ಲಿ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಜಿ ನಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಇ ನಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಜಿ ನಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ